Hi there, uh, I'm Hamish Simpson. This is a, going to be a lumbar spine examination video. Uh, I've got Alan who's going to be helping today. Alan, first thing to ask you to have you consent to perform and fill this examination and use it as part of my postwork. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, the other thing to ask you, have you got any pain today anywhere or No. Okay, so if anything I do in Jesus' name, I just want you to stop immediately and let me know that. Yeah. Okay, so to start with, do you mind just popping your shoes and socks off just now? So, the first thing I'd like to observe here is just watching the walking out. So, if you walk towards me, that's great. So, here I'm looking at gait, any signs of pain or any obvious stumbling or neurological issues. Uh, next up, could you walk towards me on your tiptoes? So this is looking for any evidence of S1 issue. And on your heels, please. Okay, so it looks like you've got good strength and power there, and that feels completely normal to you, yeah. yourself as well. Okay, so uh, next part of observing, I'd quite like to you my popping your shirt off for this, please. So initially, just going to observe from the front, so I may be looking for any evidence of any quadricep wasting here. Good. So your pelvis is symmetrical, that's super, no scars of any previous surgery or anything. Okay, and then I could look from the side. Again, I may be looking for any signs of inflammation or swelling here. I'm looking at lumbar lordosis to see if there's any loss of lordosis which uh, can, can uh, occur. Um, and if you can turn back towards me now. So at this point, again, uh, I'm looking for any evidence of scoliosis, any evidence of achyphosis. And also any evidence of any paranoid prostasm, there seems to be nothing here that and, uh, they're all normal at this point in time. So, next up, I'd like to get you just to sit up here. Uh, and, uh, so, uh, prior to doing that, if I could get you just to stand, stand once more, sorry, just if I could get you to laterally flex to one side and then the other. So we've got good symmetry here, but on both sides you go down past the, the knee joint. Again, I could just observe some flexion here as well. Just try and bend down and touch your toes. Super. And then we're looking for some extension, so come back the way. Whilst you're in that position, can I just try and rotate you? Which could sometimes induce some muscle spasm, but in this particular case is not at all. So, Obviously, you've demonstrated really good flexion of your spine there, but that could potentially be either thoracic or lumbar uh, flexion. So, I want to formally measure your lumbar flexion at this point in time. So, to do that, we go down to the, the dimple venous area, which is at L4. We're going to mark 10 centimetres above that area and 5 centimetres below. Okay, and from that position, ask you to flex forward. Okay, so we've got seven centimeter uh, forward flexion there. Anything greater than five centimeters would be considered normal. So, at this point, I can ask you to come and sit up at this point in time. So, having tested your uh, rotation and extension, which could potentially have uh, pelvic involvement, your pelvis is fixed here. So, can you rotate again for me, one side then the other? Thank you very much. Excellent, and to the other side. Super, and some extension at this point. Any discomfort with that? No. Again, flexing forward. I put a bit of pressure on, does that cause you any pain anywhere? No. No, that's super, okay. So next thing we're gonna have a wee think about here is the, uh, a neurological issues. So do you have any areas of weakness or numbness or tingling or anything? In so we've already observed you doing the, both the heel and the toe walking. So have a wee look at some strength here. Can you just press forward for me? And then back again. Super. And on this side coming forward. And then back again. Okay. So this examination, if we had potentially any numbness, one could be going through full sensory dermatomes, looking for probably a 10 gram monofilament testing to try and see any differences, potentially doing some vibration testing and testing reflexes and full neurological examination according to your findings to this point in time is how, how that would tend to proceed. So 
Next up, can I get you to lie around in your back with your head up here? Great, so I'd just like you to lift one leg as high as you can. Super. And then the other leg as high as you can. Great, okay. So I'm going to just do that for you at this point in time. Just do a little stretch. Do you have any discomfort from that? Or does it give you any symptoms down your leg? No. And again on this side, any discomfort or symptoms down your leg? No. Okay, so can we just get you to lift your leg again? And then can you flex your neck, neck forward? So, does that cause any exacerbation of any symptoms? No. So if that were to cause an exacerbation of symptoms, I'd be wanting to perhaps form a, perform a more formal slump test. Um, and on this side, if we could do the same thing again, no exacerbation of any symptoms there. No. Super. Okay. So, whilst I've got you here, I just want to check out the blood supply to the legs as well. So we do a Dersalis pedis examination. And posterior tibial. You have good, strong pulses of both. Symmetrical pulses. Excellent. Okay. So, can I ask you just to turn over on your front arm? So, with your line prone, can I just like, get you to extend back to look at your extension there? Super. Any discomfort from that? No. Okay. And I want to feel down your spine to see if there's any steps or tender points. Nothing along either of these areas? No. Okay, that's great. So, I can ask you just to turn back round and sit yourself up, Alan. So, that concludes my uh, lumbar spine examination. We've obviously gone from a uh, standing observing gait to sitting where one could uh, be assessing strength, if required a slump test and uh, aspects of the neurological examination that are better done by sitting. Then from a uh, lying supine situation looking at straight leg raising and uh, to uh, lie prone just to check for any steps or asymmetry there and that's how I'd be performing my lumbar spine examination. Thanks very much for your help.